drowning in a sea of bills? Then it's time to play Debt. The game show where three debt-laden Americans, just like you, compete to have us pay off all their bills and go home with nothing. And now, let's meet today's contest die. Hi, I'm Sue, and I'm in debt because I got a strange disease from a cat, and I owe a fortune in doctor's bills. I'm Barry, and I'm in debt because I'm a professional student, and that just doesn't cut it. I'm Heather, and I'm in debt because I have the world's most expensive hair. Starting at home, the crown prince of credit, the group of debt. Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to our show, The Country's in Debt. You're probably in debt, but most importantly, our three players, Sue, Gary, and Heather, have come to us with their real-life debt, and one of them just might be lucky enough to get out of it by the end of the show. So let's get our party started. Our first round is general debt, and here are today's categories. Eggs, more than just cholesterol. Judy and the Beast. The Big O. Things that are sharp. And do I have to spell it out for you? Okay, <laughs> this is an elimination round. Only the two players with the least debt at the end of the round get to move on and have a chance at going home with... Nothing! That is right. Heather, since you've spent less than your opponents in the game of life, yes. you get the honor of selecting our first category. But to make things fair, we are going to even you all out to the average debt amount of the day. And that average amount is $7,228. Two final reminders and then we'll begin. All the questions on debt, as you know, take the I am, you are format, and you will be penalized for an incorrect answer. So the answer to that is don't give me any incorrect answers. All right. Heather, select. I would like the big O for minus 150, please. All right, for minus 150. This category is all about people whose first name starts with O. I'm the name that puts the O in O.J. Simpson. Heather? You are, you are Orenthal. That's correct. Select again, Heather. Stay with the big O for minus 200, please. All righty, again in that category. Players, I'm the name of Willy Wonka's preachy orange dwarves. How about it, Sue? You are an Oompa Loompa, we? Yes, indeed. Very well done for $200. Select. Okay, I would like to take Beauty and the Beast for minus 150, please. Okay. Players, I'm the drummer of Motley Crue. I'm one big tattoo, and I got Pam Anderson to say I do. Heather? You are Tommy Lee. Who else? Yes, Tommy Lee for 150 off her deck. Beauty and the Beast for minus 200, Wink. And here's your question. I'm the Wimbledon whiner whose temper tantrums won, then lost the love of Tatum O'Neill. Gary. John, Ma you are John McEnroe. Thank you very much. I'm not as good a tennis player, though. I like Beauty and the Beast for minus 250. Players, my hubby, Rick Okasik, may not be much to look at, but maybe he's just what I needed. Sue. You are Paula Portskova. Is that acceptable? Paulina Portskova. Can I accept that? Yes, indeed. Paulina Potiskova. Okay, Sim, select. Okay, I would like to take eggs, more than just cholesterol, for minus 100, please. I am the picnic favorite that sounds like it was prepared by Satan himself. Gary? You're deviled eggs. That is correct, for $100 off his desk. I like eggs more than just cholesterol for minus 150, Wink. Nothing beats a great pair of me. I'm the pantyhose brand that comes in an egg. Sue? You are legs. Yes, indeed. I would like to take uh, the big O for minus 250. All the way to the top value in that category. I'm the Hispanic boxer who won Olympic gold in 92 and beat Julio Cesar Chavez in 96. Heather. You are Oscar de la Hoya. Yes, for $250. Select again, Heather. Uh, I'll take the big O for minus 100, please. She loves that category. I starred opposite Julie Christie as America's favorite Russian, Dr. Zhivago. Heather. You are Omar Sharif. That is correct. Select. Uh, I'll take uh, things that are sharp for minus 200, please. Here's the question. I am the weapon wielded by wicked Lizzie Borden when she gave her mama 40 wax. Sue. You are an axe, please. Thank you. Yes, indeed. You got that one right. Go again. Okay, I would like things that are sharp for 150, please. I'm the killer's weapon of choice in the titillating thriller, Basic Instinct. 
Sue. You are an ice pick. Yes, you saw the movie. I would like uh, things that are sharp for minus 100, please. In the children's story, I'm what Androcles yanks out of a lion's paw. Leather. Heather. <laughs> <laughs> you are uh, a pet pin. No. Anybody? Sue? You are a thorn. Thorn. Yes, thorn. And excuse me for calling you Leather. It's Sorry okay. about that, Heather. Sue Everybody Select. Does. Do I have to spell it out for you for minus 150, please. I thought you were asking me a question. <laughs> All right. This category is about TV and film titles with initials in them. I'm the Sloppy Seconds 60 sitcom set in the same town as the one Andy Griffith vacated. <laughs> Gary. You are Mayberry RFD. Yeah, that's a tongue twister if I ever heard one. Go again, Gary. Do I have to spell it out for you for minus 200, Wayne? I'm the TV series starring Don Rickles in the perfect role, a gruff, cheap, petty officer with a soft side. Gary? You're CPO Sharky. That is it for $200. We have less than two minutes remaining in general debt. Go, Gary. Do I have Gary. to spell it out for you for minus 250, Wink? All the way to the top in that category, I'm the late 60s TV show that ended with Ephraim Zimbalist Jr. asking for info on real most wanted criminals. Any thoughts? Mm -hmm. The FBI. The FBI. Gary, select again. Do I have to spell it out for you for minus 100, Wink? Anchored by Murphy Brown, I'm the show within a show that's known by its three initials. Gary. You are FYI. That is it for $100. Do I have to spell it out for you for minus 50, Wink? I'm the title of Robert Urich's Violent 70 series about a special weapons unit of police officers. <laughs> Remember SWAT? Remember SWAT? Select again, Gary. Uh, things that are sharp for minus 50. In Tim Burton's cutting-edge comedy, I'm the Johnny Depp character with hands of steel. Sue. You are Edward Scissorhands. Yes, indeed. Take $50 off I'm your debt for that. eggs, more than just cholesterol, for minus 200, please. I'm what you're doing if you crack open eggs and boil their insides, or if you're illegally hunting for elephant tusks. Sue. You are poaching, yes. Wink. Poached eggs, poaching. I'd like eggs, more than just cholesterol, for minus 250, please. I'm Fleischmann's egg substitute product with the abusive name. Sue. You are an egg beater, Wayne. That is correct. Egg beaters is what we were looking for. I'd like Beauty and the Beast for minus 100, please. I'm the John Lennon wife who not only broke up the Beatles, but also shattered a few mirrors in my time. Heather. You are Yoko Ono. That is correct. Select the end. I'd like uh, things that are sharp for minus 250, please, Wink. Ooh, and that's the detonator. That's the big one. The most difficult question on today's board in the opinion of our producers, whoever gets this right, knocks $500 off your debt. Very important for all three. Listen carefully. I'm the Tyrone Power movie about a man on a spiritual quest that was remade into a big dud by Bill Murray. Gary. You're Mad Dog in Glory. No. Anybody else? For $500. The Razor's Edge. The Razor's Edge. And that's all the time we have for general debt. And I'm sorry to say that you, Gary, have the highest score. And in this game, that means you are eliminated. But you're not going home empty-handed. Julie, what does he win? Well, to help you get back on the road to financial recovery, here's our very own debt piggy bank, along with a $200 savings bond. Hey, Gary, get a job. We're going to be back to see Sue and Heather battle it out for a chance to have us pay off all their debts. Right after this. And now, let's get deeper into debt with Wink Martindale. Welcome back to debt, everybody. We're down to two players now. Sue is in the lead with minus $5,678. Heather has minus $6,578. It's a difference of $900 at the end of this round. One of you two, the one with the least debt remaining, of course, will have a chance to have us pay off your entire debt. But first, we're going to play what we call gambling debt. In this round, I'll show you a category. You'll wager between yourselves to see who can answer the most questions correctly out of five. Category values increase throughout the round. $300 will be at stake on our first category, which is a thousand islands. Okay, five. This category is all about islands. All about islands. Since you're behind Heather, you start the bidding. Hmm. Wink, I can answer four. But are you sure? <laughs> Sue, you want to go for five? Prove it, Heather. Prove it. Okay, okay Heather, she says prove it. If you can do it, $300 is taken off your debt. Mm -hmm. I'm the island that's getting kicked in the rear by Italy and the home of some of our favorite godfather gangsters. Wink, you are Sicily. Correct. That's one out of four. I'm the Pacific Island with a holiday name that sounds like a place you could hold an egg hunt. 
You are... That would be uh, Easter Island. Easter right? Island. Easter egg hunt. You still no, have three wrong. to get. Yeah, you no. still have a shot at it. I'm the famous <laughs> Isle in New York City where we gave turn-of-the-century immigrants liberty and shorter names. Wink, you are Ellis Island. Correct. That's two. Two more to go for the money. I'm the New York Resort Island with a flaming name that's known for its summer merriment. You are Staten Island. No, Fire Island. The money goes to Sue. We take it off of her debt. Fire Island, not Staten Island. Okay, let's go to our next category and give this one a shot, okay? It's worth $400, and we call it Funny War Flicks. Funny War Flicks. Sue, you get to start the bidding. You know... Yes? I can answer four. Really? Prove Heather? it. Heather says prove it. Okay. You know what, Sue? She don't believe you can do it. If you do it, you got $400. Oh, okay. I'm the fruity movie where a yellow Woody Allen gets caught up in a revolution south of the border. You are Gone Bananas. Is that acceptable? Gone Bananas. I'm sorry, we have to have the exact title, which is simply Bananas. You still have four to go. You have four questions left. I'm the Marx Brothers quacky comedy where Fredonia declares war on Sylvania just for the hell of it. You are Duck Soup. Yes, that's it. Three to go. If it was a guess, it was a good one. I'm Peter Sellers' classic war satire that shows just how funny the atom bomb can be. Dr. Strangelove, the money goes to Heather. $400 off her debt. That's one of the most famous he's done, Dr. Strangelove. Moving on to the next category, it's worth $500. And it's You Can Call Me Alice. You Can Call Me Alice. Start the bidding, Heather. Wink, I can answer four. Sue, she says four. What do you think? I'm going to have to have her prove it. Okay, Heather, answer no four out of five of this, I and hope. you got $500 <laughs> off your debt. Number one is, I'm the Jefferson Airplane song that told you to go ask Alice. Mm. White rabbit, white oh, rabbit. Four left, you need them all. Oh. To the moon, Alice. I'm the actress who played Jackie Gleason's wife on The Honeymooners. You are June Allison? No, Audrey oh. Meadows. The oh, money goes to Sue. Oh. Audrey Meadows. <laughs> all righty, now, Heather, yes. this next category, Heather, is a must-win situation okay. for you. If you don't get this category, you'll be mathematically eliminated, and, of course, Sue takes the game. Well, I'm not very good at math. So. This, is, <laughs> this is worth $750, Primetime News Magazine. Start the bidding, Sue. Oh, it's my bid? Start the bidding, huh? Primetime News Magazine. I'm good, um... You start to say, I'm pretty good at this. Yes. I can answer... Go three, three, three. Four, she says three. three. Heather? I can answer four. Sue, you want to go for five or call it? No, 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 no. no. Do you want to call her on four? Uh, you prove it. Heather, okay. answer four of these. You'll stay alive in the game. You need four. Okay. One. I'm the prime time show where you might find Dan Rather's investigative reporters following head lice for two days. You are, um... Uh, Primetime Live. No, no, no. No, I'm no. sorry. 48 hours. 48 right. hours. Okay. There are four left. For you to I stay alive in the game, you need to answer all four okay. of these. Listen carefully. I'm the bushy-browed broadcaster who co-hosts ABC's Primetime Live with Diane Sawyer. Well, you are... P no, you are Sam... Sam... I'm sorry. Sam Donaldson. Sue wins the game. <laughs> Sam Donaldson. So, Sue, congratulations to you. That means you're going on to the final round with a chance for us to pay off your entire debt, everything you owe. Make you feel pretty good? Make me feel great, Wink! <laughs> and you, Heather, are going to go home with something as well. Julie, what do we have for Heather? Thank you. Well, Heather, we're not going to pay off your bills, but we are going to give you one of our debt piggy banks and a $500 savings bond. Hey, try not to spend it all on hair products. Now, they say that was a very hard round. Was that hard to you? Hard. Sam hard. Donaldson, it sounds so easy. I listen every night. Heather, thank you for being with us. You were terrific. Sue, congratulations. We'll be back with Sue to see if she can make it out of the red and into the black. Can she do it? We'll find out right after this. down while there's help inside. If you'd like to be a contestant on Death and you live in the L.A. area, call 213-468-3300.
can get out of debt with the help of our main man, Wayne. Welcome back to debt, everybody. Well, Sue was an excellent player. She played two first rounds, eliminated her opponents, knocked $3,100 off her debt. Not bad for a start, but that could be only the start for you, Sue. Now you've earned the right, as you know, to have us pay off your entire original debt of $7,611. You knew that, didn't you? Yep. This is a round we appropriately call Get Out of Debt. If you can answer 10 of these questions that I have in my hand in 60 seconds, your debt of $7,611 will be completely wiped out. Forever. We say goodbye to it. Oh. Let's check your category. Oh. What do you know? It's blue stuff. Blue stuff. Okay. We set your expiration date at 60 seconds, and your time starts now. I'm the David Lynch film that stars Dennis Blue Hopper. Velvet. Yes. I'm what's pinned on you for the first prize at a county fair. Blue ribbon. Yes. I'm the computer company known as Big Blue. Fast. I'm the margarine company that contains the name of a woman's hat. Blue bonnet. Yes. I'm the product Kelly publishes to look up used car values. Blue book. Yes. I'm where Fats Domino found his thrill. Blueberry Hill. Yes. I'm the basketball flick that starred Nick Nolte and Shaquille O'Neal. Pass. I'm the day of the week most affected by blue laws. Monday. No. I'm the 1990 movie where Jamie Lee Curtis plays a tough cop. Pass. I'm a Kentucky style of music and you might find me on a lawn. Bluegrass. Yes. I'm the villains who battle the Beatles in Yellow Submarine. Pass. I'm the brand of Navy planes famous for their daring acrobatics. Blue Angel. Yes. I'm the clothing term for someone who works as a laborer. Blue collar. Yes, I'm the tropical drink made with rum, blue curacao, coconut, and pineapple. Blue one. Yes, I'm the mascot for Duke University. Blue devil. devil. Yes, that's it. Ah! Congratulations, Sue. Sue just got second prize. Sue just got second prize so far in our series of things that have said to me after they've won a lot of money. On one of the prior shows, somebody said, gee, you smell good, while everybody was applauding and clapping and yelling. She just said, yeah, blue stuff, and you have a blue hanky on. The money means nothing. Okay, let's see. The computer company known as Big Blue, IBM. Uh, the basketball flick uh, starring Nick and Shaquille, Blue Chips. Uh, the Blue Law Sunday, I think you said Monday. Jamie Lee Curtis, 1990 movie, Blue Steel. The Blue Meanies, remember from Yellow Submarine? Mm, yeah. And IBM, Big Blue, I think we hit that one. That means we're going to pay off your entire debt of $7,611. Now, because you played the game so well, we're offering you the opportunity to bet your debt. When we selected you to be a player on this show, you told us your specialty category in the world of pop culture was friends, right? Yes. Yeah. Before the show, we prepared one question on friends and if you can answer the question correctly, we'll not only pay off your debt of $7,611, we'll also give you that same amount in cash. And here it is in this briefcase with our debt security guard holding. However, if you go for it and miss Sue, you'll be back $7,611 in the hole. Big risk, big payoff. What do you do? We'll give you some time to think about it. We'll be back with her decision about this money right after this. Welcome back to Dead, everybody. Well, Sue, you've had some thinking time, as they say. If you go for this question, it'll be worth $15,222 to you. So what's it going to be? Are you going to risk it all and go for the big payoff or stop now and walk away with your bills paid? Wait, I'm a gambling gal by nature, and that's part of what got me into this kind of trouble. I'm going to have to walk with the money I have now. Okay, that's fine. Fair enough. But you want to see what the question would have been? Let's do that. No, we always like to do that. Audience, you want to hear the question? Did she make a good decision? Would she have won it? Let's just find out. Category is your favorite, friends. Question is, I'm the brand of beer that Ross sees Marcel promoting in a commercial with the slogan, cause it's a jungle out there. You know the name of the beer? Would I, you have known that? I don't know. Monkey Shine Beer. Yay! So you made a good decision. 
Yes. <laughs> You're walking away with $7,611 in cash. Pay off your bills and enjoy it. Well done, Sue. The time we have left is all gone. We'll be back next time, though, with three more big spenders, and we'll do our best to help get them out of... Yes! Wink Martindale. See you next time, everybody. Promotional consideration provided by Ron's new 5-in-1 Food Preparation Center. Needs, mix and blend, chops, and precious ice. One machine for all your food preparation needs from Ron. The perfect combination. Samsung's award-winning 13-inch color monitor television and VCR in one convenient package. Great viewing from Samsung Electronics.